Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let me show you how to get Bloodborne up and running on your Steam Deck Steam OS. I'm going to be using the PlayStation 4 emulator Shad PS4. This is it. Let me load up the game. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys um, asking me to try out this game, make a video about it. Okay, um, honestly, I haven't played this game before. I'm, like, I'm not a fan. Probably I just lost half my subscribers for saying that. Okay, just joking. Don't unsubscribe. On the contrary, please do subscribe if you like gaming handhelds because I talk a lot about the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. I talk a lot about emulation, like a video like this. I talk a lot about... Um, cheats, trainers, mods, stuff like that, okay? So if that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. So you can see I'm booted into the game already. Um, like I was saying, I'm not a fan of the game, so I wasn't really in a rush to try this out. I did try it out a few days ago um, when I got a few requests, um, and then I couldn't get to work. Okay, I tried the PC version. Um, uh, I got it to work on the on the PC. Uh, I couldn't get it to work on the Steam Deck. Uh, and then um, I tried the Linux build. I tried the Windows build um, for going through Proton. Uh, and then I did ask around because I know it works. I've seen people play it on the PC. I've even seen footage of it on the Steam Deck. So I asked around. I couldn't get any help. Okay, And I'm surprised that no one's actually made a video guide showing you how to do it. Okay, So that's what I'm doing today. I might be the first one to make a video guide to get this up and running on the Steam Deck. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it because I want you guys to get it up and running and then do like different configurations, do different settings. Um, there's patches, there's mods, okay? Uh, you need to do all that stuff to find the best configuration because I know this is not the best um, configuration I've got right now, okay? Because I've seen better footages. People have got it to work better than me. Okay, but uh, they're not sharing the information. It's not widely spread out. So I need you guys to help. Let me know in the comments. Try out the settings. Okay, so it kind of felt like a like it was crashed at the character creation. It takes a while to load. This screen also takes a while to load too. So yeah, if you're a fan of the game, you really need to, and you want to play it portably on the Steam Deck, especially, uh, it should really help out. Uh, I'm not even a fan of this game, and I'm trying to help out. So yeah, so let's go into like the character movement so I can control the character. It's not the greatest at right now. I know it can run better. So if you can get it to run better with like, you know, different mods or, or patches or settings or whatever, uh, just write it down in the comment section. So it feels like it's crashed, okay? Like you see that the frame rate at the top, it's frozen. Don't panic, just let it load for a bit. And it should pass through. And then you get this weird noise from the emulator or whatever. <laughs> it's still in a you know preliminary stage, obviously. Uh, but it's getting worked on like very frequently. Okay, now we're loaded in. Okay, so another little cutscene. I think I'm gonna skip this if I can. Yep. Okay, so now we've gotta control the characters. So there's missing textures. It doesn't look the greatest, obviously. Okay, but you know, at least it's booted into the Steam Deck and you're playing this on the Steam Deck. Okay, it's gotta get better. Okay, we just need the community to chime in. Okay. So yeah, you can move the character around, throw some punches. I've not played this game, like I said, so I don't know what's going on, but I guess it's like a Souls game. Okay, so yeah, without further ado, let me take you to my Steam Deck desktop mode and I'll show you how this is all done. Before we get into that, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. InstantGaming.com is a gaming website where you can buy your games cheaper. Let me show you. This is their website. You can buy games on your PC platform, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo at discounted price. And you're probably wondering why. How, how, how is this possible? Okay, it's possible because this company, they buy their keys from the developers directly in bulk. 
and they cut out the middleman. You know the middleman takes 30% cut, right? Okay, so they cut all that out and they give you all the discounts. So you can see here, new games, Space Marine 2 that just came out yesterday. It's at a 24% discount. You can see Star Wars Outlaws, 34% discount and many, many more. Okay, and if you're like wary, like I would be too, they've got a Trustpilot score of 4.7 with over 700,000 reviews. Okay, and I'm actually now an official partner. So they'll be sponsoring me to give uh, to do giveaways for you guys. And I also get a kickback for purchases. So make sure if you're purchasing from this website, click on my link. Use my link to purchase your games and I get a like a kickback. And I plan to use that kickback like when I get enough affiliation money. I'm just going to buy games and do giveaways. Okay, so if you want to support me, make sure you use the link below. And thank you Instant Gaming for supporting me. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need is to have the ROMs ready. Okay, my ROMs right here. Okay, my version is CUSA03173. I'm not sure if that matters. It's just the version that I have. Uh, it's 1.00 Game of the Year Edition. Um, and then I've also got this package for the update, uh, 1.09. Okay, so I've got these packages ready. And then you'll need to get the emulator. Okay, we're not getting the uh, official one. We're getting like a special build from this guy called Diego Lex 29 Okay, so he has this. I'll link it in the description. Okay, so I'm going to use his one because this one works. Um, then you go to here, actions. Okay, and then like depending on when you're watching this, I'll try to get the latest version, I guess. So these are Windows builds four hours ago. So look for the Linux one, but we're looking for Linux QT. Okay, so this four hours ago. Okay, Linux QT, click in it. And then here it's got an like app image that we can download. So click download. And then just wait for it. It's going to download. Okay, it's downloading. Okay. Okay, it's going to take a while. Okay, so yeah, just be patient here as well. Okay, so once it's finished, it's a zip file. Okay, so just extract it, the app image. Go extract it here. Okay, so I'm gonna make it look better. So let me just create a new folder inside my downloads folder called Shad PS4. Okay, and then I'm gonna move my app image inside that folder. Okay, and then here I'm also gonna create a new folder, games. Okay, so I'm going to run the app image. Execute. Continue. Okay, so oh, one more thing. Uh, you need to be on the beta channel because I was using the stable version of Steam OS 3.5.19. I couldn't open the app image. So be on the beta channel 3.6 something. You should be fine. Okay, and then I'm going to select the games folder as my shared ps4 games folder choose okay and then here's the emulator running okay so like i said make sure you're on the steam os version um 3.6 something because 3.5.19 stable didn't work okay and then now we're going to install the packages so install package go to file install package install the game first so in my downloads folder i'm gonna Select the game, open, then it's going to extract. It's going to take a while. Okay, so game successfully installed. Okay. And here's the game. You can see the version is 1.00. Okay, so for me, I think this still works, but uh, I'm gonna update it as well. So I've got the update. So I'm just gonna select the update, open, install the patch. Okay. Okay, so now it's updated to 1.09. Okay, and then if you right click this game, 
Okay, you can go to cheats and patches. Okay, go to patches and here respiratory, I'm gonna select shade PS4, download patches. Okay, and you've got all these. So these are the ones that I ticked. So you could like try out different things, see which is best for you and share it. I'm gonna use the resolution patch 720p. I wanna like make it perform better. Okay, so if you want ultra widescreen and all that, you can do that, but yeah. For me, this is what I did. Save, okay. Okay, and if you want mods, like there's two mods that I used. Okay, I'll link them in the like description as well. So Bloodborne Nexus mods. Mods, most endorsed. So I used, um, oh no, not most endorsed. I searched Shad PS4. So I'm not sure. There might be more like better mods that I'm not using. That's why it's not running so well. So I used this one, Alpha Stress Test Blood and Restored Post Processing. Okay, these two that I used, uh, let me show you. So I've got them downloaded here. So this is the Alpha Test Blood. Okay, it's just a file. Okay. It's just this file. So for this mod, I go into my games folder and then um, DVD root PS4 and then go into SFX. All right. And then there's a file here, the common effects file. So I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to make a backup. So make a backup, paste one file. I'm just going to create a backup in case anything goes wrong. And then this one, I'm just going to copy. Copy this name and I'm just going to trash it. And then I'm just going to move this one over. Okay. Did I trash the wrong one? Oh yeah, I trashed the wrong one. Okay, restore. I trashed the wrong one. Um, okay, so common effects. This one is the one I want to trash. Trash. And copy this name. Copy. So I overwrite this file. That's what I did. Okay, I'm not sure if that helps anything. And then there's another mod. Okay, this is the reshade. Okay, so this says just put it inside the, the shade PS4 root folder. So I'm not sure if this even works on the Steam Deck, but yeah, anyway, this is what I did and it worked. Okay, so I just added that there. And then back to the emulator. Back to the emulator. I'm going to go to settings. Okay. Um, this log type I changed to sync. I'm not sure what that does. That's what I did. Graphics, okay, here I did change the graphics. Like it runs, 720p runs, but it's slow. So I just toned that down. So 854 width and 480. So DVD quality, all right? Graphics cards, I'm gonna select my GPU. Okay, apply, save. Okay, that's what I did to get it to work. Now let's run it and see if it works. Okay. It's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, so I'm using my Steam Deck controller. Okay, so you can't, like you can move up and down, but you can't, like in, in desktop mode, you can't press the buttons. So what you do is you press and hold the start button for like one second. And that can, changes it to gamepad mode, okay? Now I can press the A button. Okay, so yeah, game works. Yep, working fine. Okay, so that's how it's done, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and you know, if you don't have any questions, let me know, um, say thank you maybe, like say something nice and we can engage in a conversation. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.